Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at estampabub.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today for the Totally Techniques Blog Hub, we are featuring projects that are all about simple stamping. Stampin' Up! has given a challenge to demonstrators as well as customers across the globe to use the hashtag simple stamping. So that's exactly what our projects are going to be about today. And I chose to use our Whisper White note cards and envelopes for this project because nothing screams simple more than these little beauties. You get 20 envelopes and 20 cards that are already scored for you. So all you do is take them out of the package. You have an envelope and a card ready for you to stamp up. So I chose to use the brand new stamp set called Incredible Like You. This is coming out in our Occasions mini catalog on January 3rd. And I love all the images in here. I love the fonts, of course, with the greetings. And there's some great greetings in this set. This set has 15 different stamps. So let me show you what I came up with. Now, oh, what is that? I've got something on the inside of mine. I must have some ink on my fingers here. I'm just going to grab a different one. <laughs> I don't want to stamp up something that's got a smudge on it. Okay, here we go. As I said, these are all scored for you. And I like to make sure they're nice and even if you need to force them a little bit. Just be mindful of that. We know that sometimes scoring is pretty hard, right? So here's my little note card. And then I chose my color palette. And I'm going to be using Granny Apple Green, So Saffron, and Calypso Coral, along with some Memento Black. Now, the first card that I'm going to show you is a super cute little technique using the two vine or leaf-looking stamps. Well, let me show them to you on the package here. These two stamps right here. And I'm going to use the one that has a little more definition in it with the granny apple green and we're going to take the stamp that's on this block and we're going to add it to a little bigger block i'm going to take this stamp which is normally a straight set of stems or leaves and i'm going to add it to my block and then i'm going to force it to bend so it's got a curve in it once i have that done we're going to ink that up in the granny apple green and I am going to stamp a quarter of my circle. And I'm going to turn my card here and attach that end so that it's hooked onto here. And we're going to make a wreath out of this. And this is just such an easy little technique to do with photopolymer stamps when you have a straight line of any type of image, really because you can bend that photopolymer on your, on your acrylic block. Okay, now I'm going to grab the other stem image here, and I'm gonna do the same thing. This is kind of a straight image, and I'm going to take it and add it to the block and bend it a little bit, just like this. And we're gonna do the same thing. Now this one is gonna actually stamp lighter than the first one, because it is um, a different texture on the rubber. So it gives it a little different look. And I'm just gonna go around on my wreath and stamp this. And isn't that looking so cool? Boom, you've got a wreath without having a stamp that is a wreath. Then I thought what would be really cute is this tiny little flower that's in here. I am going to add some of those with the Calypso Coral ink pad to make this wreath just look super, super cute. There we go. Isn't that adorable? Okay, let's decorate the rest of our card. I've got So Saffron ink here. And I knew the minute I saw the stamp set with the lines that I had to have it because I love elements like this. You can do so many cute things. I've got that inked up in So Saffron 
and I'm just going to take these lines and stamp them right across the bottom of my note card. And how super cute is that? You can do all kinds of different things, and I'm going to show you a few other things to do with the lines. And this one I'm going to stamp with a saying that says, incredibly proud of you. And I'm just going to put that right down here. And we have a super, super cute and easy little card. Now, one other thing I want to show you is don't forget about the power of decorating your envelopes. And I've got just a scrap piece of printer paper here. I'm going to decorate the flap of this envelope and all I've done is taken my printer paper and folded it so that I can stick that flap in here. I need that to be just a little bit longer. I want my flap to be pushed right down to that fold edge and then we're going to do some I'm going to do some of these vines on my flap and I just thought this would be a really neat way to decorate up the envelopes that are going to go with this little set of note cards. And maybe one more right here. There we go. Look at how cute this is. Now the challenge for the simple stamping is to keep things simple. We're using paper, ink, and stamps. That's it. So I found this to be a little challenging because we're so used to adding ribbon and baker's twine and buttons and brads and all kinds of great stuff that when you come right back down to the basics, you can still make some really super cute cards. And this is wonderful for beginner stampers who don't have a lot of supplies, right? Okay, let's move on to the next card and I'll show you what I did with that. I'm going to bring in another note card here. And again, I'm going to fold it in half and make sure that those edges are meeting up perfectly. And then I'm going to bring in this really pretty flower. And I'm going to stamp the outline image of my flower right in the kind of upper center of my card. Then I'm going to come in with the background image. I found that if you stamp the detailed image first and then stamp the background image, it's easier to line up. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love this flower. Then we have this cute little stem. And some leaves to add to it. And I love the way the um, pattern on these leaves makes them look almost real. It's kind of, I don't know, variegated maybe is the word I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna grab, hope your day is as amazing as you. We all have a friend we can give this to, right? This is a super, cute saying for really neat card. Now I wanted to decorate the inside of my card on this one so I'm going to where'd my little vine thing go? I'm going to take the stamp that we rounded and I'm going to stamp it straight now and we're going to use the granny apple green and I'm just going to go right up at the edge of the inside of my card. Just like that. Super cute, right? Another really, really simple card. One more thing I wanna to do to this. So we've got this tiny little flower that we used in that wreath, and I'm gonna stamp that right next to my words. And that just gives a little pop of color down here, and we have another fabulous card. And then I stamped the envelope for this particular card using that flower in the Calypso Coral ink. So we've got that done. I'm going to grab another one here. And again, folding on that score line. I'm going to clean off some of these stamps. 
I am going to bring in the lines again. And we're going to use, let me get this back out of the way, the Calypso Coral. And I'm just going to stamp this right down the side of my card. And then I'm looking for my words. So glad we're friends. This is another really cute greeting. Add this right over here. And now I'm going to do a couple saffron flowers with that little tiny flower stamp just to add that little pop of color. Super cute, easy, simple, and quick. Now we've got this stamp that has a polka dot and I thought this would look really cute on the inside if we just stamped a bunch of polka dots right along the bottom edge. These fit in here perfect. I also took and stamped polka dots on the flap of my envelope. So there's card number three. Now I'm going to bring in the last card here. I'll get a clean piercing mat out here so you don't have to look at my mess. I'm going to do the inside of this card first and I'm just going to add some of the little stripes from the stripe stamp here. I'm just going to do that all across the bottom. I'm kind of trying to keep them at the same height. This is just to add interest to the inside of your card. I think that looks really cute. Then we're going to stamp our greeting with the Memento Black ink. And I've got the Hope Your Day is as Amazing as You. And then we're going to do some flowers. And remember, I like to do the more detailed flower first because then it makes it easier for me to line up the background flower. And again, I'm standing up here so that I can see better for placing the stamp right over top for a two-step stamping process. And it's a good reason to get off your butt. We spend a lot of time on our butts, don't we? Yeah, I'm totally guilty of that. So right now I'm getting a little exercise. I can't really say that I went to the gym today with this amount of exercise, but at least I can say I got up. <laughs> and then we're going to bring in some leaves. And notice that I'm just stamping my leaf right over that little twig branch or whatever you want to call it, stem that sticks out. And that gives your leaf kind of a really neat look. The stem can be used for several different elements in the stamp set. And next we're going to come in with the more detailed stem and add a little bit more foliage down here at the bottom. And then it really bugs me that this stem is sticking out there in Never Never Land. So I'm going to do this upside down and I'm going to bring this in here and make it meet up so it goes all the way to the bottom. There's another little trick if that bugs you. And then we're going to bring in the little flower here to fill in and add some pops of color down in the bottom area. Isn't that pretty? This kind of reminds me of a flower on a cactus. It's just really cute. Okay, here's another great card. And I think what I'm gonna do for my envelope is I'd like to do the stripes also. So let's bring this piece of typing paper back in here. And I think I'm gonna do the stripes on a diagonal for this one. Where'd my stripes go? Right here. So I'm gonna kinda start and now we're just going to keep going in a diagonal I think this is going to be really cute I'm 
and look at that. It did turn out good. Okay, so here's our envelope to go with this one. Now let me show you what I came up with to put my cards in. So here's our set of cards with their matching envelopes. How about if I stack those envelopes like this so they're not drowning out the cards? I think that's a great idea. Here's our envelopes. Here's all our adorable cards, right? And then here is the little card holder that I made for these. So this just slides right out of the flap and all of these will fit in this little box, just like this. And we'll tuck this right back in here. And there you have an adorable little gift made in a flash. So, beautiful cards using the Incredible Like You. The box is something that I'm going to feature in a video on my um, Facebook VIP group. So, if you're a member of that group, you will find out how to make this today. And if you're not a member of that group and you would like to be and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator... Um, you can go to my blog, which is at www.astampabove.com, and in the right-hand side, you'll find my online classes button. You can order an online class from me. That'll grant you access to this VIP group, or you can place an order with me and get access to it, and you will find this video in that group. I hope you've enjoyed Today's simple stamping with the Totally Techniques Global Blog Hop. Head back to my blog and hop along with us to, today to see what other demonstrators across the world have made using the hashtag simple stamping and ink, paper, and stamps. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. If you'd like to place an order and go to my blog, you can head right up here, click on that button. That'll take you right there. You can also click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. Remember this stamp set? Um, oh, and this ribbon that I'm using on here. This is called Flax Ribbon. Um, both of these items will be available January 3rd. They're coming out in the new Occasions mini catalog, which we can't wait for. Super excited about that. The um, note cards... And envelopes, you get 20 in a pack for $6.50. These are great to have on hand when you need to whip up a quick card. Or you can do like I did here today and make a little gift set. Or you can make up a bunch of little quick cards and have them ready to roll when you're ready to walk out the door. I have a luncheon to go to next week. And I plan on giving this as a little gift for a lady that I will be meeting there that did me a couple favors and shared some information with me. So I thought this would make just the perfect little gift to give to her and I know that she'll be very touched by it. All right, you guys, wishing you a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me. Bye-bye.